Oh my goodness, this tastes phenomenal. Hey guys, it's Barry here. Welcome uh, to my virgin kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make an Oreo cookies and cream completely encased cheesecake with a white chocolate topping and cookie crumble pieces on top. I've had to put it down right there. It is incredibly just delicious and stonking and just so, my man's telling me no, just amazing. You are gonna wanna make this if you want to have a go. Uh, hit pause on the video now, write all these ingredients down. But the basic concept of it is based on a cheesecake recipe uh, in my book. Uh, so if you haven't got that, you might have tried out the one in there. Uh, this is a little bit of a different twerk on it. A twerk? Twerking? I don't know what the word was there. But the random shout out goes to someone very special. <laughs> Yes, today's random shout out goes to my wife, uh, Mrs. Barry. I was driving her to work this morning. I said, Mrs. Barry, you don't look very happy. What's the matter? Can I do something for you? She said, yes, make me a cookies and cream cheesecake. So that is how this recipe was born. Uh, so I really hope you give it a go. The first thing you want to do is get your cream cheese into a mixing bowl. So just plonk it uh, straight in there, then dump in your sugar and just mix it together briefly till it smooths out the cream cheese and also combines the sugar all in there. Then what you want to do is gradually add your eggs one at a time, beating it through with an electric whisk until it's all as one. Yes. The last thing to add to the mixture is a pack of Oreos that have just been bashed up roughly. So big bits and little bits, get it in the bowl and nice and mixed through and combined, looking absolutely amazing. Proper cookies and cream style. So just put it to one side uh, and then you need to get um, ideally one of these tins, like a spring form thing uh, with a latch or just a loose one uh, like that. In fact, I'll leave that there. I have washed it up, it's all good. Now this is a non-stick one. If you're using uh, one that's not non-stick, you're gonna need to line it, okay? Uh, so get a food processor and whiz up uh, some more Oreos with the butter, okay? So I've got a little processor, I've had to do it in batches, but just keep doing that until you're left with a big old clump of Oreo blended up goodness. And what you want to do is start to press it into the base of your tin. Uh, you can use a spatula to help flatten it down a bit, and then start to press it against the sides to build up a crust all the way around the edge. And then all you want to do is literally just put it in the fridge for about five minutes so you can gather your thoughts and just sort of go, yeah, like that, and it'll just firm up a little bit. Then all we want to do then is add the Oreo mixture from earlier, so our cream cheese one, straight into that base. Get it as close to the top as you can. We're gonna whack it into our preheated oven for a good 50 minutes, okay, until it completely firms up. It might go slightly brown on the top. I kind of like that, because it smells like freshly baked cookies in the kitchen, and it really did. Even Boston was going, what's that smell? Amazing. <laughs> right, okay, so once your cheesecake is all nice and cooled down, what you want to do is take your outer ring off. I'm not sure if that's the official name, it's more like a tambourine thing, right? So I did this kind of rushed, but what you want to do is put a dish underneath it and just lower it so your cheesecake is revealed at the top. And that on its own, with that nice sort of golden brown topping, would be absolutely amazing. But we're turning it up a notch by taking some more Oreo cookies and butter whizzed up again and just lightly pushing it down on the top, spreading it until it's completely coated and try and merging it around the seams as best you can. Now you don't even need to put that in the fridge, um, it will just sort of set for five minutes. So what we're going to do now is add white chocolate on top. So roll it all on there. You don't roll white chocolate on, do you? It's not like a, a bowling ball. You kind of smear it out, okay? Get it all nice and coated on there. And if you've got any Oreo cookie crumbs left over, just spread that all over. Now whack that in the fridge for another good half an hour at the absolute minimum to firm up and cool. Oof. And that is our cheesecake done. Looking good, huh? So that's it then guys, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please consider doing so and check out my last video if you haven't already, pulled chicken burgers, ready in 20 minutes from scratch, so so good. Let me know down below what you want to see next and uh, it's only fair that I end the video with Mrs. Barry's taste reaction as she requested it. See you next time. Mmm, what a stonker.